I'm Mike Burns, and I'm a sixth generation lobster fisherman. My family has a commercial fishing background, and that's where I come from. Half of my family digs clams, and the other half of my family fished lobster. And when I was small, I did a little of both, but what I really liked to do was spend time with my father on his lobster boat. And so I leaned towards being a lobster fisherman. At the age of 18, you know how we kind of like to butt against our fathers every once in a while. One day I come home and he was pretty mad at me and he said, you need some military in your life. And I went right down to the MEP station and signed right up just to show my father that I could do it. I served the United States Marine Corps. Well, after 20 years, I had a decision and I chose to come home and spend some time with uh, my parents and, and uh, my children. I got my lobster license back and got back into lobstering. Well, my typical day starts about three o'clock in the morning when my alarm clock goes off. But I pick up my son and we get down to the wharf and the first thing we do is go right into a frozen bait cooler and start dumping barrels of bait and getting it aboard the boat. Once that boat has got its bait aboard, uh, we head out into the darkness. Now, all of our gear and even our clothing is methodically thought of right down to the watch that I wear. I've personally been a Casio watch wearing guy my whole life. I started wearing them when I was in the Marine Corps. And since I've been home, I've been wearing Casios ever since I've been lobster. Right now, I'm wearing a Golf Master G-Shock. A lot of times, I use the easy touch features of the buttons here to illuminate my watch during hours of darkness. Up here, dealing with the fog, a lot of times, if I step away from my electronics for a few minutes, this watch right here has a built-in compass, which is really handy. With one touch, I can tell my general direction. Uh, in a matter of seconds and not have to go all the way back up to the wheelhouse to get a sense of where my boat is. On this watch, I can review the current temperatures too. And that's very important in the winter when we get ready to make ice or not. Because if you start throwing lobsters into those banding trays, but the temperature is down below 32 degrees, the claws will freeze. You go to start pulling lobsters out of the tray and there'll be no claws on them. You don't want your lobsters to be freezing. This watch right here goes from icy extremes right into a hot water tank, right back to icy extremes, and back and forth all day long, and just never fails. On these boats, we're always banging into each other, banging on the rails, slamming them on traps, so on and so forth. These watches, they gotta be able to take a beating. Tides and moon phases have a lot to do with lobster fishing. On certain moons, people have gear in certain places, and, and they know whether or not they're gonna catch and uh, also down to the lobster molts. They wait on certain moons to go by and a certain tide to be over, and then they know they're gonna start the catch of the new molt. The Gulf Master has both a tide and a moon phase, which is very helpful. This watch right here gives me all the information I know and uh, comes home with me every night and is ready for another day. Salt water's in my veins. I grew up on it, it's all I ever remember. And when I came home, I returned to it. My grandfather said something once to me that I'll never forget. He told me that work's a healer. If you want to live a healthy life, get out there and work. And so that's what we do up here in Maine. So I work from sun up to sun down every season. And it keeps me healthy. Life up here, in some ways, is very simple. I wouldn't have it any other way.